What is up, guys? Average Gear Reviewer here, back again with another, 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 another one for you. And in this one, guys, you know, if you know, if you've been paying attention to the calendar, you know what today is. You know that it's Friday. And of course, you know that, well, almost every week, we do the TGIF pocket dump. Of course, you know, that is the series that we do where we're taking off all this EDC gear that we've been wearing all week, all the stuff to protect ourselves that we have to carry around all the tools and things that we need to set fires and fix things and break things and defend ourselves and cut things. And I think I already said cut things. Welcome to Average Gear Review, where the best gear is the gear you have on. Welcome back to the channel, guys. If this is your first video, I really do appreciate you stopping by to watch one of my little videos. If you're a returning viewer, it's so great to see you. I hope you've been doing well. Are you guys a member yet? Are you a member of the channel? Did you know that we have channel memberships? Check them out below. I've got the descriptions on everything and uh, check it out if you want to help support the channel. It's a great way to do it. Become a channel member. Become a gearhead. Join the gearhead nation. Okay. Anyway, guys, so you know, like every week we do, we go through, um, what I'll do is I'm just going to go left to right and I'll show you everything that I'm carrying and where I'm carrying it. And then I'll just kind of go through why I'm carrying what I'm carrying. And I'll go through any new stuff that I'm carrying this week. And I'll also go and um, kind of let you know if there's any changes to stuff that I have been carrying already. So uh, without further ado, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, guys, so I'm just going to take these sunglasses off my head because I feel like a douche. Um, We'll put those over there on the bench and what i'll do i'll just go from left to right and uh as i take everything off we'll just uh plop it on the bench here real quick of course if you've watched any of my pocket dumps since the very first one i'm going to just go ahead and take this off because the tick watch pro is ubiquitous it just always has to be in the mix i always have it on me it is you know it's just always there and uh, I'm going to go ahead and take off the iMini 2 and, uh, you know, get the Olight iMini 2, of course. Always have that around my neck. Like I said, if you guys have seen it, any of my videos before that, it's not a surprise at all, I'm sure. And in the left pocket right now, I'm carrying the Pocket Platform by Knife Eye King. This one is in the custom AGR colorway. And also over there, I almost forgot this the last last time I did this was the Lighter Bro Pro. Got the uh, Lighter Bro Pro here. Of course, always have that on you. Nothing else on the left. Um, I, I'm going to save this. I do have something else on the left, but I want to save it for the last thing. So I'm going to go ahead and move to the back. Comment down below if you saw this in the video that I did earlier. I've got the Fidelo Minimalist Wallet left back pocket now. And in the right back pocket, I, I just sort of swapped them. Got the Olight Ohank in the right back pocket now instead of the left. Like I said, I talked about that in a video that I just did earlier. So if you guys saw that one, um, comment down below what I said to comment in that video. I just want to see if anybody caught it. Nothing else on that side. And right now I'm carrying the Spyderco Pair 3. Oh, yeah. With the Northern Lights. Fibonacci scales. Absolutely gorgeous. I just did a video about this one and my slow descent into insanity, but it was in the, it was worth it in the end because this, these are absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely perfect. I love them. It just really completely changed the knife. So over here on the, in the right hand pocket, I'm carrying another pocket platform. This one is the ultra model. It does have the loop on the back, so you can attach your patches here. And it also has the new longer pockets. Super happy with these. I love the new longer pockets. Will, if you're watching this video, I think this is one of the best things that you've done on these. And guys, if you haven't gotten a hold of one of these, hit up Knife Eye King over on Instagram. They, they are super cool. I'll put a link for them down in the description. Because I end up, I end up every pocket dump, I end up talking about this guy's stuff in like, so much free advertising. Uh, I'm just saying. <laughs> See what else I got. Okay. Yeah. As always, guys, you know, got the G2C with Olight Balder RL on there. The RL means that it is a red dot.
Oh, that works better when you turn it on. Yeah, it's a red dot and a light or combination. Awesome little weapon mounted light there. And of course, you know, I do carry it in the gun and flower Kydex holster. There's a ton of holsters out there, but I couldn't find a whole lot that will fit the O lights. So this one's one of the best ones that I've found so far. Inside the waistband, uh, full Kydex. It even has this back piece that goes against the body, kind of keeps the gun off your body, prevents rust and stuff. And then, of course, I've got the uh, ulti clip on there, as always. That is almost it, guys. Uh, I still got the Vismix tactical belt on, and there is one more thing still attached to it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what it is. For my small arm retention knife, I'm carrying the White Horse. Little concept knife that I've been working on. And uh, I'll talk about a little bit more about this one in a minute because I've made some some pretty some pretty cool changes to it. So, yeah, let's go. Uh, well, let me show you here the holster for it. It's got a uh, full Kydex holster for it. And it does have the Ulti Clip, Ulti -clip Slim on there. Just uh, seems to be the perfect combination for me for a uh, small arm retention knife or even just an everyday carry fixed blade. But again, um, let's go to the bench and I'll talk a little bit more about this one. And while we're here at the top down view and, you know, guys, I just wanted to say in, in advance here, a lot of the things that I carry don't change. And. And I know it may be repetitious seeing them every week and just seeing the same stuff over and over. Um, I do usually make slight changes to my gear. And really, my TGIF Pocket Dump series is where I, it gives me a chance to kind of showcase any new gear that I've gotten that week. Just give you guys a chance to check it out. So really, that's as much the purpose of this as it is also to, you know, if you guys have been following the series, you may have watched it since the first episode and if you have hey thanks a lot i really appreciate you comment below if you're if you're an og from the first pocket dump um but some of the stuff that i carry every week and i keep and it stays in my kit it, it's because it works it's because it absolutely works my main edc knife this week the pm3 with these fibonacci scales the northern light colorway the new ones from lynch northwest are absolutely beautiful i am in love with these scales i had a really difficult time if you guys happen to catch the scale swap i had a really hard time putting these on I, I recorded actually like an extra hour of video i might pull some bloopers from that or something just so you could get you guys can hear me like lose my mind in that video um but you know in the end, it turned out it was something that I was doing wrong and I had it wrong from the very beginning and it was super easy to fix. And once I fixed that and got it put together, it's absolutely perfect. The action on it is, it's better than it was before. I, I just gotta say the detent at the bottom just seems like it is better than it was out of the box. And the blade centering is absolutely perfect. I can't say enough about the Lynch Northwest stuff their stuff, guys, it's made in the U.S., made by a family-owned business, and they guarantee their products for life. So, yeah, you know, enough said, right? Anyway, huge fan of Lynch Northwest. Shout out to Casey and Thomas over there. Uh, I love you guys. I love your stuff. Um, you know, to match that, I'm actually carrying in my extended pouch here. I've got the best case scenario over here as well in the same colorway and i i think it might even be better looking i don't know it's hard to say but they look so good together um and it's got me kind of trying to put together a little blue sort of carry um but this is the uh pocket platform deluxe version from knife eye king i don't know if you guys have seen this before but uh super awesome front pocket um sort of organizer and um it's on it's on uh, Velcro there, as you can see, and all these pockets are elastic, and it really lets you just kind of aggregate all these smaller pieces of EDC equipment into one small platform, it fits in your pocket very nicely. You can see the way that it's angled here. It's made to fit into that pocket in the corner of your pocket. So great pin slot here, 
And um, I love, to me, I love the uh, loop that it has on the back so you can put patches on, but also so you could attach it to the inside of another type of pack if you have one that has some Velcro in it. Um, the thing I'm really excited about this week, guys, is this white horse concept knife that I've been working on. This one still is a little bit rough. So, you know, it's not at all a finished product. Like I said, it's a prototype. It's a work in progress. <clears throat> the previous iteration that I had made was actually just some very thin wood scales that I'd made and carved out of um, wood. And I actually got some decent G10 scales. And this is like a, just a really, really cool G10 scales. And so I went, I've got, it's an integral piece here. So this is all G10, no steel. So the steel of the knife actually stops right there. And um, what I want to get, you know, ideally I want to find somebody who can make a blank for me. And uh, if any, if anybody's a knife maker, comment down below if you would be interested in collaborating on something, because I really want to try to make a full tang steel version of this. Um, but it's very fidgety, um, but it's also, to me, it's just right. It's very small, but it makes a really good small arm retention knife. Um, and the way I've got it carved out, I've got it to where it will fit over your hands, fit in here just right. Well, mine do, because I've custom made it for myself, but it, it fits in your hands just right. And it really, really feels nice. I, I like it a lot. Um, but anyway, I've been carrying this as my small ones retention knife. And actually, some days I've just been carrying this as just an EDC fixed blade. And it works very well for that. The Kydex sheet that these little knives come from come with works just perfect for what I want. Um, I love the SOCP dagger, but I'm not really a huge fan of how long the uh, sheath form is. It has its It has its pros and cons, but... I like this a little bit better. You can see it fits in there really, really tight. Fits in nice. I'm not trying to brag on my uh, handle making skills or anything, but it does fit into the Kydex sheath pretty well. And then I've got an UltiClip Slim on here, and it's brand new, so it's really tight. But uh, yeah, you clip that into your uh, pants or your into your pants pocket, and it's not going anywhere. But uh, yeah, I'm really, really happy with how this has turned out so far. And I've had a lot of fun just trying to figure out how to do things on my own. And I tell you, I've gained a whole other appreciation for knife makers. And what you do, guys, is, is just incredible. Um, and uh, so much of what you're doing, people don't even notice. So uh, yeah, shout out to all the uh, really, really good knife makers out there. But anyway, if you are a knife maker and you're interested in collaborating on something, this is my own design that I'm working on. It's not uh, it's not a rip off of any other knife that I've seen. It, let me know in the comments down below if there's a knife that's just like this one out there. I'll, and I'll have to look at it. But I honestly have looked and looked and looked. And I can't find the knife that's exactly like I want. So that's why I'm trying to make my own. Anyway, um, this other, I'll, I'll be real quick here, guys. I'm almost done. But uh, I did want to talk about this little mini EDC carry that I've got here. And I. I really kind of dig it. This is something I can throw in my pocket. And if I don't take anything else with me, I've basically got my bases covered here. You know, I've got a pen, I've got a lighter, got a multi-tool pry bar and a flashlight. So, um, again, I just got to shout out knife. I King, I, you're, you're just a genius, bro. I love your stuff. And, uh, it has converted me into a pocket organizer freak. I have to say, um, no other big changes this week, guys. Um, really, the biggest thing that I was kind of wanted to talk about was the white horse because I just got the G10 scales kind of sort of where I want them. You know, I'm narrowing in on uh, what, what exactly I want out of it and I want to do with it and uh, learning along the way what I'm able to do. So, uh, yeah, super excited about that for this week. But any, anyway, guys, remember to uh, comment down below. Let me know what you're carrying this week. Go over to Instagram at Average Gear Review, all lowercase, and you know, use the hashtag TGIF Pocket Dump, TGIF Pocket Dump, and post your pocket dump for this week, and maybe you could be featured in a future video. So, guys, thanks so much for watching all the way to the end. I do appreciate it. I hope everybody has a great weekend. Remember what I always say: always be carrying, and remember the best gear is the gear you have on you.
Average Gear Reviewer, I'm out of here. Average Gear Review, where the best gear is the gear you have on you.